how to record your screen with OBS. In this video, you'll learn how to record your screen with OBS Studios in a very simple and easy way. So stay tuned until the very end for a bonus tip. Come over here onto this website called obsprojects.com and once you come over here, you're just simply going to go ahead and download OBS for free. It is completely free. You don't have to worry about that. You can download it for Windows, Mac OS or Linux. And you just simply download it by clicking on the desired operating system. Once it's downloaded, you just simply open it up to install it. Click on next. As you can see, it is already running, so we don't have to worry about it. You just simply download it by clicking on next button. And once it's downloaded, you are good to go. Once it's downloaded, this is how it is going to appear. Increase the size. This is OBO Studio. You have had downloaded the older version you didn't have any display capture you're going to come over here the first step you're going to do is plus icon and add sources over here you will have different sources such as application audio input capture audio output capture browser color screen display capture images slideshows all of these different stuff the most simplest version is you're going to have to display capture this is the only thing that you're going to do and click on ok you just select capture method i recommend going with automatic don't have to fiddle around with that select your display right here if you have multiple displays you can choose which display to go ahead and record leave the other ones as well and then click on ok this will allow you to have a screen right here you can even adjust the screen by just simply clicking on it you know increasing the size and decreasing it so that way you can see how much what you record and after that you this over here is the audio mixer over here you will see right now i am using a microphone slash auxiliary that's why over here you can see the bar going up and down and this will be your desktop audio currently i've turned it off but if i just simply come over here i just do this you can see the bars are going up and down pretty sure you can't hear it you're gonna go ahead into settings right here click on files click on settings here you're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of configuration over here you can see the general settings you have theme language dates outputs and all of that you got snap activity and all of that leave all of this if you know what you're doing then you can go ahead and mess around with it but i recommend letting it be as it is the main thing that you need to do is let's say if you're recording you know you're not streaming then you just simply click on video you select the base resolution and the output resolution it can be anything you want but usually it maxes out on the display that you're using so my display supports 1080p so that's why i get a maximum resolution of 1080p you can select the fps value as well so right here i have selected 60 fps these are the main settings for video next you need to go ahead and click on audio setting you go ahead and select your sample rate right here it's already at 48 hertz you got channels right here stereo is best then you have audio right here first one is desktop audio desktop audio 2 is also disabled and then we have mic and auxiliary that's where i keep my microphone right here i use this one then down below you have your advanced settings as well and hotkeys as well you can go ahead keep it as it is and then you just simply click on apply you also need to go ahead and select output settings as well in output mode you can see you have simple and all of that keep it simple no need to mess around with it you have your video bit rate audio bit rate as well you can increase it to 320 i keep it 320 but this is the other version that i had downloaded so that's why it's at 160 and over here as you can see encoder preset it's slower better quality that's what i keep it i don't go max out that's why i keep it at p6 audio encoder over here aac you have your recording path and then you have your recording quality i keep it indistinguishable not lossless quality because that way the files are way too big and it takes time to process that's why i keep it indistinguishable it gives you the best quality and the best speeds for processing as well recording format it depends on you but usually i keep it at mpeg4 which is mp4 see there is a warning sign that if you use mp4 or mov if for some reason your computer shuts off the entire audio or video file or the entire recording that you are making it will be lost there won't be a backup but if you go ahead and use mkv then what will happen is if your computer shuts off you don't have to worry about it because while it is recording it is also saving that file after that you can turn on your computer and continue from where you left off that is one thing that you can do you can go ahead and switch around with it if you want so if you use matroka video mkv then what you can do is you can go ahead and remux it into an mp4 later on what i mean by that is let's say we select mkv created a video and we recorded it radio as well go into file click on remux audio this will allow us to go ahead and select mkv file right here right so all of them are in mp4 but let's say we have one in mp4 let's select this one and then we just simply select the targeted one click on remux the, our mkv file transformed into an mp4 file to a location where we choose so select the location you want and 
name it as well. Basically, these are all the things that you needed to know about. If you have, let's say, multiple different screens and you are streaming, then you can go ahead and select a Selene. That way, only one screen will be shown on stream. No other screen will be shown. You can also use a display capture for that as well. It depends on you. Generally speaking, you also have your mic and auxiliary. You can add multiple different mics as well. Another thing that I recommend to go into filters. Applying a filter is very simple. Click on filters for your mic. This is the simple filter that I use. You just simply click on plus icon right here. Choose the filter you want and you are good to go. Then you just simply close it and your filter will be attached. Generally speaking, these were all the things you need to know. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. And don't forget to check out our other tutorial videos on OBS Studios.